this day is just suck. So what are you doing right now? Just experimenting, trying to see if uh, I'm gonna be able to get straight lines in the shipping container. Can you see that angle? Especially here. I'm gonna do one more test too with the tape. Let's test this. See how sharp of a line and straight we can get. Oh no, this is gonna suck, dude. Step into the ring. have to do with smaller brushes I guess so then uh, what's the next part of the process are you ready? Um, just coming here tonight um, sometime um, between 8 and 9 when uh, the sun's setting to get a good trace um, up there and hopefully we can get started tomorrow and um, um, start painting making this thing come alive yeah that's the goal so tracing tracing There it is. Definitely not dark out yet. I think that's pretty close. It's good. Oh yeah, that thing's popping, dude. <laughs> so taping, huh? Yeah, just taping, see if I can get some of these straight edges going. Can't really get the tape to stick. I don't want this to be just red. to the line. It's like the human blender. Ugh. Getting old, can't even get up anymore. All right, let's try it.
on. How have you been working here today? Uh, yeah, not bad, I guess. Got 10, 11 hour shift. My legs are like tired. Oh. I can't tell. Where's the sun when I need it? <laughs> Looking better every day. Oh, appreciate it. Thanks. How you guys doing? Real good. Good. Nice to see you guys again. Yeah. Yeah. I need some sun. I can't no, kind of tell ready. if I got the right tone or not. I guess I'm going to have to see the hard way. This weather's so inconsistent to it, it's just like, there's some that it's windy, then it's very bright for like 30 minutes, then it's like cloudy, and then kind of messes with the reflections of it and stuff, so it throws me off. Definitely something very challenging. We had the same issue at Rakes, remember? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yep. <laughs> Have you learned anything painting on that? Patience. A lot of patience. Can you explain that a little bit? I guess how we had a, a, a time frame for this, mm -hmm. like two or three weeks. And being able to not only finish it on time, but <laughs> like keep a steady hand for everything and not rush it. So, so you'd say that that's been the biggest struggle or the biggest challenge, just like the meeting the, the time goal that you guys set and still doing a good job. And Riley, because she never wants to paint with me. Come on. So the final stretch, huh? Oh yeah, last couple minutes, final stretch. It's been a great journey. Yeah? Have you been getting a lot of positive feedback with this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, people, yeah. They've been great. I think I was expecting a lot of bad things. <laughs> but it turned out to be different. It's, it's good. Good deal. So what's the last step? I really just got to apply that uh, sealant. Protect it from anything, weather. Um, any vandalism, if any. Um, and then do you know what's next after this one? I do. Yeah? Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Last brush stroke right here. That's it. All I gotta do is sign it, call it good. Muskegon is a very diverse and colorful city. It's fun, it's upcoming, it's, it's full of energy. We wake up by the beach and you can take a walk and stuff and see the sunrise. But overall, I just wanna make sure that what I created something beautiful, just like Pierre Marquette, capture that essence and, and, and for if people are visiting here and to understand that there is beauty out here and it's just not a, a uh, piece of steel, right? A shipping container located out here. It's, uh, it's deeper than that and it's beautiful.